folks, Jakeway here. I am in a 7th Cavalry frame of mind. Come along and find out why. Take right here. Out in the woods uh, doing a little shooting. Got this gun. Some of you may have heard me talking about it on some of the talk forums. This is a Cimarron 7th Cavalry reproduction. It's um, made by Uberti, imported by Cimarron. And it has a few differences from the regular um, 1873 regular action and uh, I'll try to explain some of them here. Okay, the gun on the bottom front is the 7th Cavalry uh, replica and the other one is the little bit newer model, 1873. The 1873 was made by Colt for many years so there's just different changes as you go through the years and um, I obviously won't talk about all of them. I don't know that much about them. But uh, I wanted to do something here on this 7th Cavalry. The uh, first difference you see, obviously, is the length of the barrel. Uh, the 7th Cavalry is a 7.5 inch, whereas the other one is a 5.5. Eventually, the single action was made in 475, 5.5, and 7.5. And but the original uh, issue were 7.5, and, and the uh, 7th Cavalry uh, got some of the, obviously, earlier guns. The uh, Bighorn battle was in 1876, so they weren't around very long. So let me show you some of the differences here. Besides the length of the barrel, the uh, 7th Cavalry has what's called the black powder frame. The main difference is this little screw right here, which holds the base pin. And in the standard model, you have this little uh, push pin that you, uh, you push that to pull out the pin. Now, with these, these are both Uberti's. The first one is uh, a Stoger import, the other is Cimarron. You'll notice that that pin sticks out a little bit farther uh, than it normally would. That's because of the safety system. This revolver has what's called the three-click. You pull it all the way back to half cock, and it allows the cylinder to spin, and then you have the last two when you shoot. And that's because that firing pin is free-floating and there's a rod inside the hammer that when you shoot, as long as you keep pressure on the trigger, that um, firing pin is locked in place and when it hits the primer the gun will go off. The main reason I don't like that is if I'm trying a real light trigger pull, and I've been a rifle shooter for many, many years, so I'm always just very gentle on my uh, trigger. And when I first got this I was getting a lot of fail to fire it took me a while to realize it's because I wasn't keeping pressure on the trigger. So by the time the firing pin hit the primer, uh, it was not engaged and it wouldn't fire. The 7th Cavalry has a traditional Colt 4 click. First click, I don't know if you saw that, the firing pin is no longer visible in the uh, gap between the cylinder and the recoil. And you've got that little gap there. That happens because there's a little notch in the hammer that keeps it from going all the way through. Second is half cock, third, fourth. So the rest of that is just like the uh, other Uberti. And let's see, because this is the old frame, it's got that uh, full moon ejector, which I really like. When you go to half cock to eject it, it's a little bit bigger thing it's easier to grab and I like that. By comparison the other one has what's called a crescent or a half moon and it's a little bit harder to grab 
and I've only had this gun since October and you can see there's already a little bare spot in the bluing where that edge of that um, retractor scratches it just for that first little bit. See there's a, a little dent in that or a curve in that slot which pulls it away but it just doesn't pull it away soon enough. And hopefully I won't have that on this 7th Cavalry model. Other difference, front sights. This one has a very fine blade front sight compared to the other one has a, um, it's hard to get that lined up, has a wider front sight and a square notch in the, uh, for the rear sight. The seventh cavalry model has a sharp V, and then with that narrow front sight, it gives you a, a different sight picture. I honestly am not sure which one I like best. This is actually just the second time I've had that gun out to shoot, so not sure how well uh, that'll go. Other things uh, is just markings. You'll notice there's a, a U.S. in the frame. That got stamped on all the guns that are actually issued to the Army. Um, the grip has a cartouche. O-W-A. I believe it's Oliver. Uh, might be a different first name that starts with O, but Ainsworth was the inspector's last name. And the inspectors would stamp in the, uh, in the wood grip, and they'd also stamp in the metal in various places. On the bottom here, I turned it upside down, on the uh, grip there you can see it, it's uh, I Company 7th Cavalry. I Company was, uh, I believe it was Major uh, Kino or Keo, the, uh, I believe he was Scottish or Irish. He may have been the guy that actually brought the song Gary Owen uh, to the 7th Cavalry. The um, original guns had the serial number on the grip frame, so you birdie put it there. And it's kind of hard to tell right here, but the numbers are not straight across. It's like the numbers are individually stamped, which is more authentic. It also has the serial number on the base there. And you can see that it is, um, again, off-center. But to make sure that they don't get the claim that they're pretending that these are actual real original coats, they also have the regular serial number on the frame. They have the Italian marks. And on the top of the barrel, stamped along there, is uh, Cimarron Firearms Company, Fredericksburg, Texas, A.U. Birdie, Italy. So there's no way somebody's going to think that is an original Colt. And there's various other proof marks on here. There's a, a P and yeah, there it is. There's a V in the cylinder. There's a V back here on the back of the back strap. There's a V in the wood down here. Um, there's a V and a P on the barrel. And those are all theoretically where they would have been on an original. So I didn't buy the Seventh Cavalry version just because of the uh, extra markings. Uh, I was mostly interested in the different sights to see if I could uh, see if I like those better than the others. And the jury's still out on that. Okay, that's a, a quick and dirty. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we had really nasty weather today for uh, filming, so this is not the best quality video, but I'm not a professional either. I will see you all on the internet. Bye-bye.